Good morning. Um, just another quick video today. I'm out in the woods. I'm just waiting for my kettle to boil. Hopefully the smoke won't just smash me in the face. Um, it's going its usual direction at the moment. But um, basically, I... Um, I'm just making this video for a lad who commented on uh, last year I'd done a video on the Tereva Skrama 240 and basically I think he was struggling to get a hold of it um, the company that sells them is Varostekola in Finland and I think you know um, I think they're still sending stuff to the UK, but I think knives there's a bit of an issue at the moment. Um, so you can't get it from them anymore, uh, and they're the only they're the only site that, that sells the Tereva. I think they they make them. So um, so basically that's why I'm making this little video. So the thing was is I think he'd asked about a alternative, um, and I'd. You know, quickly replied. That's Andy, Andy of Scotia. If you if you are watching, um, and I sent, I think I sent him a link to Lamnia. Lamnia is another company in Finland. They're actually, yeah, they they'll send stuff quicker than a lot of the UK companies. Um, and I think it was to the, I think it was to the Blue, the Condor Blue River, as well, which is an, an alternative. But I've been using. Another condor, which I'm going to show you guys as an alternative to the um, the Tereva Scrama 240. So I've got it here with me, um, sheath and all, but I've just got it out of the sheath. It's a bit, bit um, abused. I've been abusing it in the woods for a bit. But that's it there. You can see uh, it's quite a nice sort of size. Let's see, I'll get it close up. So this is the Condor Iron Path Bolo. And um, it's pretty much, I think it's a touch, just a touch longer than the um, the Skrama. And obviously it's more more old school, but um, but I'll just show you close up. You know, obviously, nice handle, full tang. Uh, it's a lot more simpler, I think. I mean, there's more sort of innovations gone into the Skrama, but... Um, this will literally do the same job, but it's a bit thicker as well. Five mil, five mil thickness there. Um, I think as well. It comes with it. Sort of it looks like a flat ground, then has like the bevel at the edge there. Um, and it says your typical sort of bowler knife, a little bit thicker around that that way, gives you good sort of chopping weight. I think originally when I, when I got the Tereva as well, it was to sort of refine, you know. Sometimes take a, a, a machete out instead of a, a, a hatchet. Again, those of you that watched my video in the Balkans, you know, I thought in hindsight a hatchet would have been better, and that was just because of dense brush. And that's where this comes in, into its own. Um, you know, you, obviously people will say yeah, with a hatchet you can you can hammer stuff in like stakes and wood, but all you need is like a, a small small bit of log that you can saw and then you can hammer with that too so um but that's my alternative like it's obviously it's slightly different in the Tereva you've got that longer bit of handle so you can actually use it a chopper but you know um to be fair i've been chopping with this and it's been no dramas at all the only difference is it doesn't have the scrama would have like a little just on here it has a different bevel for like fine work um doesn't impede you again um, I could do the, the same sort of stuff with this as well um, but it's quite nice obviously you can what they've done here is for your chopping length is you know um, they've gone further out here and then you can you can go up to there like that for any fine work you need to do you know and then you can sit back there as well for um, you know for if you want, if you're chopping, basically. So if you're out of the woods, 
out in the woods that's uh, that work quite nice so I think that's a really good alternative and probably I think with shipping and that it's probably a ton well no it's very close price wise I think this was about 80 just under 90 quid for the Condor and um, the Terevas I think what it is on Varus Decola they put it out as 70 something and then the VAT gets added, so it will probably come out pretty close to my, pretty close to the same, really. Um, and Condor's interesting anyway because they're, they're they're a German company, but they're completely set up in El Salvador. And in the 60s, they basically set up their manufacturing in El Salvador, and they still have some of the old machinery machinery that and there today. And apparently, some of the uh, the guys that initially started still work there today so um so really good quality and they are i consider them they're like the machete kings really in the in the sort of blade world um so just show you the sheath i'll grab that here so again condor the the sheaves are always i find they're always quite nice um sheath that's it there just a quite simple black sheath um belt loop will turn which is quite handy because obviously it's long so if it's dangled on your trouser and that and you want to stick you can just turn it stick it in that way or if you wanted to push it in that way you can do that the only thing I found was um, it's very it's, it's a bit tight going in um, pardon the pun you guys I know what you're all thinking um, no but so it, it's a bit tight but that'll just loosen with time but when it's on your belt it's quite a bit of a, a tight fit, so um, so what I'm doing if I was working with it a lot, I almost keep it out like that a bit because it's still, you know, quite tight at that stage. But um, you can see it's quite. A... Well, that's it. You know, there's not really much to it. It's you know it does what it says on the tin, bolo style knife, and that might be a good alternative for the um, the Terreira Scrama. Where I got it, I actually got it in the UK. I got it from a place called Moonraker Knives. They're pretty good. Um, I'll whack, I'll whack that in the comments. If you can. Moonraker Knives. Um, you can get um, from Lamnia as well, but obviously Lamnia send it UPS as well, so might be a different pricing. So uh, I suppose you could probably check maybe on, you know, Henny Hines places like that might have it as well any of you guys are familiar with those sites but um if you like this knife give me a shout and um, hit me up in the comments and um i hope uh, you like the little video see you again soon guys cheers